Art is for the public. Art is for everyone. Public University needs public art. Having been at UMass Boston for almost 30 years, I felt that the difficulties of the architecture, the very rough and hard surfaces, needed some kind of humanity. And for myself in particular, but also for colleagues, for students, for staff, I felt that this should be a more humane place to work. What's really been rewarding and surprising in part about building the park is the enormous interest on the part of artists. They all believe in what we are doing here at UMass Boston in its purest educational form and they understand that their works of art are actually going to be a part of a truly public environment to which they themselves are also deeply committed. There have been many, many memorable moments. I'll never forget, for example, a huge crane picking up the top of Huru and settling it down there without bolts or any other attachments. Or, for example, when Luis Jimenez's alligators arrived, it was a single truck that had brought it in and it had all been wrapped up so it looked like this surreal, mysterious entity had come all the way from California on the back of this truck. And when they opened it up, it again was like a huge uh, revelation. I'll never forget a student who told me that he just simply didn't like Kuru, just thought this big lung bastille was ugly and should be painted. A couple years later, after taking various courses, he came back to me and said, you know, that's a pretty amazing piece of sculpture out there. And every day when I come in, I think about how in the end, my opinion has radically changed. The sculpture park is funded completely by philanthropists here in Boston and elsewhere. Uh, friends of Paul, friends of the university, friends of Arts on the Point. If it weren't for the generosity of these donors and benefactors, Arts on the Point would not exist. We've recently completed a 25-year campus plan, long-range plan, and that will call for a number of new buildings, which means that there'll be ample opportunity for works of art both in the buildings and around them. So I think that in the next two decades, we're going to see a transformation here in Columbia Point that will be astonishing and richly deserved. Contributing to Arts in the Point is a contribution that is really meaningful. It goes right to the heart of our mission. It goes right to the heart of students who, for their perhaps very first time, will be confronted with major works of art by major figures in the field.